Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I will be reviewing the Mattel WWE Superstar Entrances Series 2 John Cena figure. This is only available at Walmart and is also known as a t-shirt series if you are unfamiliar with the Superstar Entrances name. Um, this is John Cena's second t-shirt figure and I like this one actually more than his first one just looking at it. It has his uh, more updated look even though he wears a yellow shirt now but still pretty cool. So that being said, let's take a look at him fresh in the package. As you can see, there's John Cena in his Never Give Up, You Can't See Me attire there. It says John Cena on the side. The Superstar Entrances logo at the bottom. The only a Walmart sticker here. WWE logo up top. And Cena there in a standard pose in his Never Give Up shirt. Looking at the back, you can see the WWE Superstar Entrances logo. Shows a raw basic ring. A picture of Cena there in a Never Give Up uh, shirt. It says John Cena, and there's a window here so you can read the back of his shirt. It says You Can't See Me, but there's a plastic protective piece over it so nobody can tamper with it at the store. Um, it says Celebrate Their Epic Entrances. Also in the set is The Rock, Ryback, Daniel Bryan, and Santino, Morella, and Zack Ryder are supposedly shipping later. And uh, so keep an eye out for those. And then at the bottom is just some company information. So now let's take a look at him fresh out of the package. Alright guys, so here we have the Mattel WWE Superstar Entrances Series 2 John Cena figure fresh out of the package. Overall I'd say it's a pretty cool figure even though I'm not a John Cena fan. Um, it is a nice figure of him. It has the head scan I like most so far of all his figures. So I recommend picking it up if you are a fan of his, but let's take a look at it up close first. As you can see, there's John Cena with a smirking head scan. It's probably my favorite head scan because it looks just like him, honestly, compared to a lot of his other ones, so it's a great scan. Um, it's a ball-jointed head that goes up and down, as well as left and right. And what's cool about this figure is even his haircut, like they have it faded, which is really neat. Like he actually wears it so it's thicker on top and more buzzed uh, towards the back. It even has a wrinkle in his head which is even cooler. So just little details like that always make a figure that much cooler in my opinion. I'm looking at his shirt. He has a molded collar there. There's a Never Give Up logo with John Cena there. Um, and they have wrinkles and everything to make it look like an actual shirt rather than just painted over his torso. On the back, it has a You Can't See Me logo. More wrinkles and everything just to make it look more authentic. Now looking at his shoulders, he's got a ball jointed shoulder. He has swivel bicep joints. And as you can see, the sleeves are painted on over his bicep instead of being molded. Um, he has typical elbow joints. And he's got his painted blue uh, wrist tape, or wristbands I should say. This has a yeah, you can't see me logo on that one. And on here is like the 10 year strong logo I think is what it is. If I remember correctly, and like I said, I'm not a fan of his, so I don't follow him that closely. But I'm pretty sure that's what that is. If not, correct me, I'm not sure. Um, he has a swivel wrist joint, and a joint that goes up and down as well. Going on his lower torso, he has a swivel waist joint. And as you can see here, he has belt on. Unfortunately they didn't paint the buckle um, but the belt does go all the way around and you can see the detail in his shorts with the seams and pockets and everything just to really show their cargo shorts which is cool. Just little details like that always make something neater in my opinion. And you got the typical leg joints that go up and down. And here comes a cool part for those of you that may not have John Cena figures. Um, he actually has molded knee pads so his knee movement is not restricted which is nice and the back of his shorts are curved so you can pose his knees a lot better um, but the cool part here is that the knee pad joints are actually swivel joints so you can really pose him more um, I didn't know this until I bought one of his newer figures so I thought that was really cool and then his knee pad joint also I can get it to move um, he has swivel joints as well. 
Maybe not on this one. Which is weird. It's all the same figure. Anyway, I'm not gonna force it, so that's silly, but uh on his other figures the joint is a swivel joint as well under the knee pad. I don't wanna force it. So maybe they got rid of that, I don't know. But it is a cool feature on some of his previous basics that looked the same. So check that out in my other reviews of him. Um, and then he has just typical ankle joints. They're kind of hard to move because of the shoe. And uh, yeah, he doesn't even have the swivel joint. So, I don't know. It's weird. They changed him a lot, which is weird since the figure looks practically identical. Um, but you can see the laces and stuff on his boots. Or shoes, I should say. Yeah, that's John Cena. I'm disappointed that he doesn't have that extra articulation, but it's still a nice figure of him if you're a fan. Be sure to pick it up at Walmart um, if you're interested. And yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do. And I will see you next week. Thanks. Uh -huh.